I haven't shown you one of these in a while. This is the December Art Snacks box. And inside we have the four pack of Pit Artist pens. There's a brush, soft brush, soft calligraphy, and a bullet nib. The sticker this month looks like an ugly sweater. The candy's a stick of peppermint. <laughs> the big boy. This is the Crink K75 paint marker. This is a General's Drowning pencil. And lastly, combo color brush pen. All right, let's draw something with them. So first I'm just going to swatch these out quickly before I use them so that I get a good grasp of how they all work. Oh, this one has like a little chisel to it. So this is the soft calligraphy. If you rotate it, you can get a smaller point. Cool. Ooh, squishy. I think we have my favorite. I like that they're all juicy. None of them seem very dry, which is what I like in a liner. What's a drowning pencil? Oh, it's pronounced drafting. Drafting. Spelled real fancy. <laughs> or wrong. My opinion on these sort of pencils is we're living in 2018. Can I get an eraser on every pencil now? I mean, that's just that's just how I feel. I mean, I understand everyone has their favorite eraser, like a needed eraser. But it's just so convenient when you can just flip and erase a little bit. I usually use like a kneaded eraser when I need to erase larger areas. Don't ask me to pronounce that. It does get a little dried out. That's a little unfortunate. And finally, the big daddy. That is freaking awesome. I love this. <laughs> oh, but oh, there's the stink. Woo! That has got a smell to it. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get any line variation. Look at that. Okay. Ooh, I think I need to open a window or something. <laughs> now that I've tested all these supplies, I know exactly what they look like and how they work and the exact colors that are inside of them, especially when it comes to colored stuff. And now I can use this as inspiration to create our illustration over here. Did that dry already? Oh wow, that dries fast. It's a paint marker, but that dried really fast. I'm impressed. I think I know what I want to do. I'll just some thumbnail something first. I'm thinking what I want to do is use a lot of this crink and it has a very wide um, nib. So we need to think of an idea that's going to have a large area that can be filled in with that crink marker. Since we have all these different size black pens, I want to have like a line art heavy drawing and then one element of the drawing will be colored in with the crink and then the line art of that will be done with the tombow pen that's what i'm thinking wow did i draw the head too small for the first time in my life <laughs> well that's a major achievement <laughs> i mean still not what we're going for but at least the head's not too big oh there's no eraser included guess i gotta use my own Actually, you know what would be cool is if I color in the whole background with the crank. Have you ever seen one of those drawings? I don't know if there's a name for it, but like a part of the like character that's in the forefront is colored with the same color as the background. But then like you can see the hands that like overlap that shirt, like the shirt was the color of the background. You don't see any of the lines that like would block out the shirt. So they're colored the exact same as the background. You only see the elements that aren't the same color as the background. Does that make sense? If not, I'll show you because I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, why don't I try this? If it doesn't work, we've got lots of pages left here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change it up a smidge though. And I gotta remember to keep all of the elements of this drawing pretty large because the thinnest pen we have is this one five and it's got a bit of a width to it. So <laughs> I wanna try and keep the drawing pretty large. Split out where all the elements are here. Some big swishy hair, cause why not? Add some detail to this face. Get an idea of what they look like. Some lips. Ugh, I still smell that crank marker. Ooh, that has a stank to it. And it's been like, I feel like 10 minutes since I used it. Just had some uh, ear wisps. I don't know what you call those. It's a little piece of hair before the ear. <laughs> I like the term ear wisps. It sounds gross, but they're so cute. I'm focusing a lot on the neckline because <clears throat> my hope for this drawing is that the background will be the same color as her shirt. So the more detail that goes into like the neckline and the more skin that like pops through in different places, then the more I'll get to draw. So I'm kind of hoping for something cool. Is that interesting? 
I'd say we'll come back to it, but every time I say, oh, we'll come back to that, I never do. <laughs> oh, today's just a day of firsts, isn't it? What if her belt is shaped like a heart? <gasps> Aww. Scared the absolute bejeebies out of me. <laughs> Draw this hand. I feel like it's a little too spread out. Oh, it looks like she's showing off a ring. <gasps> Maybe she is. Maybe she's engaged. Is that the right hand? Left hand. Sounds like a fun story element, right? Got an idea here. What if there's like a neckline with like a bunch of uh, crisscrossies like this? Is that different enough? I think I've seen something like this on Pinterest. Probably. <laughs> no idea is an original idea. What I want to do is go ahead and color in the background. Man, her neck's really long, isn't it? I wonder if I can pull some hair in front of that and hide how freakishly long her neck is. Let's see what that looks like. Let's make this a heart shape too. Now there's a bit of a theme going on. All right, so now that the sketch is done, I might tweak some things. I wanna go in and color in the background with the crank and make sure that everything's the way I want it because although I won't be able to erase any crank, I will be able to add more and that's kind of what I'm thinking. I might wanna cut this hair a little closer so that this color of the background will touch with the shirt, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna start with the top left and move my way to the bottom right so that I hopefully don't put my uh, wrist in this. Let's see how this goes. And this is a paint marker. So hopefully there won't be too many streaks. I'll be able to get a pretty good even coat. That is a beautiful color. I am in love. As long as I plug my nose. Sacrifices we make, right? When we're in love. <laughs> Careful here around this edge. Looks like as it dries, it gets a little lighter and that's where the streaks are. And it's cause it's not all completely dry yet. So I'm thinking once it's all dry, it'll be a more even color. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> love it. I love it. It's pretty opaque. Like it covers over the pencil a bit. Not completely, but good enough. The parts that I'm not sure I'm leaving white because you can always add crink on top, but I'm pretty sure this stuff doesn't erase. That's my guess, at least. I mean, I haven't tried. <laughs> Oops, I just put my hand in it. Oops. Ah, I colored the whole thing. That actually looks really cool right now. I haven't even like done any of the detailed stuff. So I think I'll just let that dry. Oh, wait, I missed a spot. Go get some ventilation and let this dry. This is a stinky boy. I might even have to do another coat if it looks this scratchy and streaky after it dries. I mean, it's mostly dry already. Yeah, and this side is dry. Maybe I'll go in and start doing this next coat. How are we doing with bleeding? Oh, not too bad. Like it hasn't gotten down to this page, but it looks like there are some sections where it got close. This is the, this is the ELO sketchbook, if you're wondering. I'm gonna add a second coat though. And get this a little bit more even. Honestly, I don't know why I think I can always get away with one coat of paint when I'm drawing because like when you're painting a wall or furniture, <laughs> it never takes just one coat. You're leaning upwards of like two and three, four, five coats. I like that sound. There we go, second coat down. Does that look better? Ooh, it's shiny, like definitely need to let this dry and then come back to it and whew, maybe go outside and breathe. Ugh. All right, everything's dry. I'm now going in with the brush pen because it has the finest point. Oh no, I had like some of the graphite on my wrist and it's leaving marks. I guess I'm gonna have to go over that with another layer of crink. I didn't think of that. Oh. Now I'm not entirely sure how to go about the shirt because I think the shirt, because I'm going to color in the shirt with the same color as the background and I'm not sure how I want to go about the line art of that. I'm just avoiding it at this for now. Can do the hands though. <laughs> I 
I usually use nibs that don't bend, so this is a little crazy for me. <gasps> and stressful, but I really like the way it looks. Oop, I got a little squiggly. Whoopsie. Now this heart. Can I use, let me see, what was the other one? The, this one, this one's a bullet. Is this small enough to do this with? Okay, that's not so bad. And then I can get a much more solid line too. I just need some seams. And this is a skirt I saw on Pinterest and it had this weird little heart hanging off of it. So we'll include that. <laughs> it's like on an end of a chain. I don't know. I'm trying to be very light with these lines. Skirt's done. Okay, I think everything else is the shirt. So... Uh, I'm a little nervous about this. I think what I can do right now is erase most of the pencil. So I'll grab my kneaded eraser. And hopefully the pen doesn't smudge. Oops, don't get it on the crank. Okay. Oh, I forgot a thing. A little belly button. Bloop. It's actually turning out pretty cool. I kind of like it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to lightly erase the shirt so that I can still see most of it. And then I'm going to go in with the crank for the shirt. And hopefully this will look cool. I don't really know <laughs> what's going to happen. I need to go over where I got graphite all over it. Uh, what was I thinking? Okay, okay. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, it's not looking too bad. Pull in some of this. The hardest part is getting really close to the line art without drawing over top of it. And this marker's kind of opaque, so you can't really see it underneath. It would have been smarter, I think, to have just colored this in the same time I did the background and then do the line art on top of it. You live and you learn. And I can always go over the sections that I accidentally go over with the marker with the pen again. So I think everything is working pretty well so far. I wonder if Crink makes a white one of these. Now that would be amazing. Is that sleeve longer than that sleeve? Kind of. I should make her lips yellow. Don't you think? Maybe the belt? Oh, the belt, yeah, wait. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Spur of the moment thing. Seems to smudge the ink a bit instead of just going over top of it, which is kind of gross. Okay, let's try to go over this graphite again over here. It's a bit messy. Now it's the waiting game again. I gotta wait for this all to dry so I can finish up and add the final details to make this look really cool. Actually, I think it looks really cool right now. <laughs> Actually pretty happy with this. <laughs> Trying to get the lips. Just the very tip of this chisel. I wonder if I could do some eye makeup too. Just a slight smidge of it. <laughs> it's pretty bright and happy, I think. I really like this color. It's just putting me in a good mood. I still see some of that graphite though, and it's gross. When it bleeds through this, it makes almost like a green color, and it doesn't make me very happy like the yellow does. Ooh, this would be so cool if I had like a bunch of these markers and I did a different one of these things with like that same sort of idea, but in a different color. That'd be so fun. But for now, I need to let this dry. <laughs> Why do I keep touching it? Now, the only art supply that I haven't used is this Tombow pen right here and originally my idea was as i demonstrated down here i was going to outline the clothes with the orange pen but i'm not feeling that i think i will go in and add all like the detailed lines like that and like the seam that i had drawn here i don't think i want to outline the whole thing i can draw like this line here kind of like that i could even draw some like wrinkle wrinkle lines I kind of wish I had uh, left this white and I could have drawn the choker with this orange, but too late for that. 
What I do want to do is add some kind of element of interest up here since there's a lot of white space and I feel like it could add to the piece. So I think since I've kind of got a little bit of a heart theme going on here, I'll just draw some little hearts. Not super crazy, but I feel like it'll add a little something, you know? Uh, probably should have put this one. No, I think that works actually. Now what I want to do is just color those in. Except this pen doesn't really want to draw. <laughs> On the crank. All right, I think I will outline it. Is there any way to fix this? I could go over it with my Posca pen. I mean, it's less noticeable. I can still see yellow, but it's better, better. Turn to add a little bit more depth to the line art. But it's just a little too squishy for me, and it's I don't have a whole lot of control. Uh, now that that Posca pen's dry, you can see that really well again. So I guess I'll go over that with another coat. Let that dry and see what happens. A little extra something. Yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> now I just need to sign this. Boom, baby. So there it is. Here's all the little drawings and doodles I made with the December Art Snacks box. I'm actually really happy with this, and I like the shine. Boop, boop. And if you see, it like didn't even really bleed through. I mean, it bled enough. It's gonna interfere with whatever I draw on here, but it's really not bad at all for, a, for this solid bit of color. Like, look at that. I am impressed. I really like this thing. The uh, Crink Paint Marker. Look at this puppy. It's so shiny. Can you see the Crink? Giant yellow marker. <laughs> and this is what I drew with it. I really like the contrast between the black and the white and then with the pop of yellow. And then the orange what goes really well with it too, so it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I'm happy. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, just look at it. I had a lot of fun and I'm definitely going to use this in the future, just maybe with a nose plug. <laughs> it's very, very stanky. Um, this was sent to me for free to uh, test out and share with you. But if you're interested in getting your own Art Snacks box, I'll have a link in the description and you can check that out and see if that's something that'll work for you. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this illustration. I had a lot of fun and I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!